Neanderthals weren't cave-locked homebodies. They took road trips across continents. A tiny bone from Crimea just redrew the map. Ancient DNA from that fragment links its owner to Neanderthals thousands of kilometers to the east in Central Asia. That's not a local family tree. That's movement on a Eurasian scale. Picture the Ice Age like a set of highways, river valleys, open steppe, and seasonal game trails. Follow the herds, follow the water, and you can cross countries in a lifetime. This study lines up with what archaeologists keep finding along those routes, matching stone tool styles and shared know-how appearing far apart. Ideas spread when people do. Timeline matters too. We're around 60,000 to 50,000 years ago, right before our species expands across the same corridors. So instead of isolated cave clans, think overlapping networks, families visiting kin, exchanging tools, forming partnerships, and sometimes mixing genes. A wider range means bigger territory, more resilience, and faster innovation than the old stereotype allows. And that single bone, it's a receipt. It says a Neanderthal born in one region carried ancestry from another, far away. If one fragment can show that, how many stories are still buried? How many meetings, trades, and alliances never made it into our textbooks? If Neanderthals ranged this far, what else about them needs a rewrite? Language, art, memory. Stick around for the next ancient mystery.